reliable God, unchangeable God, miracle working God. I praise you for every help, for every provision, for every intervention. Lord, I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Today, the God who turns the impossible to possible will show his hand in your life. Whatever the enemy has done to make you cry, it shall be turned into testimony. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Any agent of the devil hiding their identity to fight you. I speak as a servant and I speak as a small prophet. They will be grinded. Amen. I say again, they will be grinded. Amen. I say again, they will be grinded. Amen. I say again, they will be grinded. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Put those hands together for the Lord. And please be seated. The danger or the cost of not praising God. I want you to hear this. If you make up your mind not to praise God, God has an option. Stone can take your place. Scripture say, if you don't praise him, the stones will cry out. God forbid that stone replace you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Lack of gratitude is an enemy of God's plan and purpose for our lives. If you choose to be ungrateful, you are not doing God, you are doing yourself. It takes gratitude for the plan of God for my life and your life to be in motion. It takes gratitude. I remember what Bishop Abiyo said this morning. It is your lifestyle that defines you, not your work style. Or not what is happening around you, your lifestyle. An ungrateful man is an ungrateful man. It's not his work that is it's not your work that made you to become a complainer. It's not the circumstances around you that turn you into a complainer. It's your lifestyle. Your lifestyle defines everything around you, not your work. Not praising God or refusal to praise God is counted as pride. And it can lead to self-destruction. And scripture says, pride goeth before a fall. It goeth before what? A fall. And a haughty spirit before destruction. In Jeremiah chapter 13 and verse 15. Jeremiah chapter 13.
Hear ye and give ear. Be not proud, for the Lord has spoken. Verse 16. Give glory to the Lord your God before he caused darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while ye look for light, he turns it into the shadow of death and maketh it gross darkness. Verse 17. But if you will not hear it, my soul shall weep in secret place for your pride, and my eyes shall weep sore and run down with tears because the lost flock is carried away captive. Ingratitude is pride. What has the Lord done? Covenant our prayer, I'm there, regular, regular, regular. I need a missa. Service unit a day regular. All my Shiloh requests last year, now so is TB. You know, you don't need to say you, you can be murmuring against God in your heart. It's pride. Give somebody 500 naira now. This man look at home, he finish now. 500 naira he give me. He don't know my words, Sam. He to say, he don't know my words. Who give you what? <laughs> Who give you what? Talk. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. Whatever you are, whatever you have, God gave it to you. Scripture says no man receiveth anything except to be given to him from above. From above. No man receiveth anything except it be given to him from above. It will be pride for you to neglect the acts of God. The mercies of God. The kindness of God. Never you attribute anything good taking place in your life as your skill. As your connection. I know the people that I need to put in place now and I will stop that is business. Which business? If it's God that gave him the business, you are only opening new chapters for him. My prayer for you in this church, may you not be connected to evil people. Because your connection to evil people is an initiation to your downfall. Write it down. Today is 29. Your connection to evil people is an initiation to your downfall. An evil man can never teach you how to be grateful. Rather, I only show you how to spoil what is working. Please, I beg you, be grateful. As an individual, as a family, be grateful. May it not come out from your mouth. I'm tired of this house. The house is telling you to, me too, I don't, I don't wait for you when you come out. I learned something from a Biomi which I will never forget. He said, every moment you are joyful and you are grateful, you become more creative. How do I mean? Every little thing you thank God for stands the chance to multiply in your hand. If you are thanking God for this little thing now, before you know what's happening, it doesn't only give you more, it gives you idea on how that thing can be increased in your hand, please be grateful. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Pride goeth before destruction. 
So before you initiate your fall, think twice. Don't say it's the devil that tempted you to be angry. Before you claim that he tempted you to be angry and showed you what God has not done, think well. God has done something. Are you wrong know saying now? God has done something. Do you know that this road that you fly every day, some people have been dying on this road, but God has preserved you. He has not allowed evil to be for you. Scripture says, arrows shall fly by day. If God allow you to see the arrows that are flying by day and by night, you may not be able to sleep. Do you agree with me? Yeah. But when you sleep, you sleep like a big wood. When you woke up, you snore. But God prevented evil, witches and wizard, from assessing you. Should I tell you something? Even though those who that has a gate man, as you sleep, they take off sleep. They are not watch night. Are you wrong saying now? As you go to sleep, they too they go to sleep. As they hear Pagara come from your door, they just wake up and come and behave as if they are agile. They are not agile anything. As you sleep, they sleep. God is your keeper. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? God is your keeper, is your shield. Is your defender, is your protector. You are not the one keeping yourself. So it will be pride for you to just wake up and feel that uh, I woke up by myself now. Is the is the ginger that I took before I slept? Which ginger? <laughs> oh my God. Safety is of the Lord, not your car. The best American pilot died in a plane crash in 2007. George Bush said they should go and look for him. They told him that the person you said they should go and look for is the one that died. He said, oh, America has lost something. Safety is of the Lord. If you go and come back, thank God. If you go and come back, thank God. Every step, every little thing, be grateful. Be grateful. So nothing good takes place in your life now that your hand brought it to pass. No. God brought it to pass. So the more grateful you are, the more God blesses you. No wonder. Scripture said the meek shall inherit. The meek shall inherit. Another danger of not praising God is this. Not praising God can turn our blessings into curses. Say God forbid. Malachi 2 and verse 1 to 3. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If you will not lay it to heart, and if you will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, say the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you. And I will cause your blessing. Yay! I have caused them already. Because you do not lay it to heart. The psalmist said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not. And forget not. Which means, make it a rule. Make it a principle in your life. Not principle. Make it a principle. In your life. In your career. In your family. If you now give glory, I curse you. 
God is a blesser and at the same time a curser. If you don't give him glory, you are attracting a curse. So the cheapest way to attract a cause is not even to offend any, is not even to offend pastor. It's not even to offend prophet. Just don't give glory to God. And that's why you, you look at the church, you see the lives of some people, you'll be wondering why is God delaying in not answering? What is keeping the hand of God from giving this person his due blessing? Ingratitude. I remember, it was it last week I shared a testimony of a young man who, who felt he should have been given the job. He graduated as a pharmacist. And he got angry. He said that uh, his mates that graduated three years behind him, that they have gotten a job. Ah! That in fact he felt like committing suicide. So he just came to the office to tell me that he, was, that he, was, he wanted to go and commit suicide. I said, well, my office is not where they report before they go to commit suicide. I said, if you want to commit suicide, just enter 50 Naira from Ibuzo Junction. As you are going to Onicha, just tell them, bridge. They will just stop you. Jump, you don't need rope. You have committed suicide. <laughs> Why are you laughing at? He was fuming, but when I told him, enter bus, you don't need any rope. As you just reach there, do as if you are not seen. Just say, do like this, bye, you have entered. <laughs> Shall we you want commit suicide? <laughs> God commit suicide so that the food will be plenty for others. So. so he started laughing. I said, why are you laughing? Shall we say one commit suicide? He said, Pastor, I thought you would pray for me. I said, you didn't ask for prayer. <laughs> you didn't ask for prayer. What you are telling me is that you want to commit suicide. I said, you know what? You don't need prayer. You don't even need fasting. I said, go and be thanking God. That same day you were born, there were some people that died in the hospital. The people that started primary school with you, some of them have died. The people that started secondary school with you, not all of them graduated. In the university, some people stray bullets from cultism in their fight, kill some. Some died on their way to you service. But you have gone. Finish. Did internship, went for youth service and come back, and you have mouth to tell God you want to commit suicide. Angels now go slap you. I saw yeah. No prayer point. Father, I thank you. From secondary to primary to university, I thank you. Now, do you know some people, their parents sold land for them to finish school? You they didn't sell anything. I say, go back now. Begin to thank God how he has spared you. I know some of my mates, they don't have money for food. They enter room by room. If they eat from this room today, the next day they will eat from this room. The, the following day, they will shift base to this side. That's how they managed their life and survived and graduated. And you have mouth to say that uh, you want to commit suicide. I say, go back, go back now. God is angry with you. Just go and say, Father, thank you for showing me mercy. Thank you for showing me mercy. Thank you for showing me mercy. I am grateful. I thank you for how you kept me. Nursery, primary, secondary, university. You did not put me to shame. Oh, I did not. I, did, I, I didn't die on the sick bed. I didn't die in your service. You kept me all these years. I give you praise. I didn't have an extra year. Lord, I thank you. He came in December. 2004, I didn't see him again. You know when I saw him after, after April, he has appeared. He said, remember me? I said, I don't know you. 
He said, I'm the one that came that time and told you that uh, he wanted to commit suicide. I said, you don't commit and come back. <laughs> he said, no. He said, he said, I came to tell you my testimony. I said, testimony, okay. I said, between that time and now that I've changed job three times. And where I'm working now is Glasgow Welcome. How many of us know Glasgow Welcome? One of the best German pharmaceutical company. Chopping life. In face, don't change. Face, don't change. But did they do poco poco? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Ingratitude is a killer. Some people's certificate is carrying a curse. Some people's business paper is carrying a curse. Every little thing that God asks to you, he deserves a praise from you. If you will not lay to heart to give glory to my name, I will cause your blessing. To cause your blessing is beyond causing your work. It can cause the air. It can cause the ground. It can cause the house where you are living. It cause. Instead of being happy, you will be bitter every day. You are under a cause. Instead of being grateful, you see this person, you complain, you backbite, you tear down. You're under a curse. It's easy to know curse people. Though. And you know, curse people, they transfer their curses. Curses are contagious. Just as blessings are contagious. Oh, you don't know? Come. Let me show you how blessings are contagious. Let me take for example now, I am Joseph. Are you hear what I'm saying now? Immediately this man started staying with me. The favor upon my life began to rub off on him. Scripture said, God blessed the house of Potiphar because of Joseph. You can't walk with a cursed man and not pack his cause. Fear cursed people. You just wait till they happen again. They will complain backbite, tear down, they have transferred their cause upon you. Before you know what's happening, they will, you, they will tell you, help us recruit. <laughs> you are packing. You, are, you don't know what is happening. You are packing the cause. Because of Joseph, that house was blessed. There are some people that can enter your company now. Sales will stop. Business will begin to go down. A cost, an Ica board has entered your camp. Do you know the meaning of Ica board? Repeat. There are people that can drive away the glory. If a cost man is your friend, man, you don't buy market. So. Bad markets, now you buy so. They will show you how to be ungrateful. They will show you how to backbite. They will show you how to murmur. They will show you how to tear down. Not praising. Hear me? Just as praising God is a lifestyle, there are people you move with, they begin to teach you. They motivate you. You don't need to complain. God can do it. God can change your story. God can give you a testimony. God has done it for someone. I know someone that God turned around his story from tears to laughter. I want to guarantee you God can change your story. That's a blessed man. That's a blessed man. If you see a cost man, ah, which means me and you did the same camp. That's why I say, in fact, I don't join all the whole service unit for this church. From choir to usher, usher to sanctuary, Sanctuary to CCU. Now nah, they security. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> Scripture says, from son or such, run away. 
A grateful lifestyle is learned. And someone must teach you. Not praising God can bring a curse. Where have you reached in the blessing that the one that you now, the small one you now have will now be turned into a curse? Where have you reached? We grow in the blessing, so don't allow anything to turn the little you have into a curse. If you meet a murmuring housewife, a complaining housewife, it will turn your house into a curse. My husband, you need to behave well again. No? Ah, all of them are the same. Oh, you want to know they behave like that? Oh, that's what they do too. Before you know what's happening, they will now be dissecting their husband with knife. You have got a cost partner. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? And instead of the home to be glorious, he's heading towards shame. Not praising God can turn your blessing into a curse. Not praising God, number three, destroys the returns on our labor. Scripture says, in all labor, there is what? Profit. But instead of some people's labor to be bringing profit, it's bringing causes. But God said, I've not said to the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. He didn't ask us to serve him so that he can curse us. But rather that he should bless us. No one that scripture said, You shall serve, I shall bless. But let's take a quick look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47 and 48. Because thou served not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Not witches or wizards shall send. The Lord shall send. In hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he had destroyed thee. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. No, 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 stop there. Until he has destroyed thee. Not serving the Lord with joyfulness and gladness of heart opens the door for a curse. Service is the pathway to blessing, not the pathway to causes. So if you are serving, serve with joy. Don't serve murmuring. Don't serve complaining. Don't serve as if they put a burden upon your head. Don't serve as if they are reducing you. This man don't know my level, though. He doesn't know who I am, oh. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, yeah, who are you? We didn't come to church to show status. We came to serve God. Put your status at, at your house before you come. Because many of the people you also see in church also have status. So people just choose to be quiet. They don't want to be known. Do you know who I am? Do you know where you're talking to? You are brother. <laughs> am I saying the truth? <laughs> you are brother. Hear me? 
activity is not equal productivity. You can be busy in around. People will think now that you are committed. It's a lie. I, the Lord, searched the heart and I examined the ray to reward every man. So it's not your jumping. Hey, they are seeing, they are seeing him in what It's a lie. When God sees, your heart can disqualify your work. Whatever you do, do joyfully. Don't do as if God is a tax master. And hear this. Anything you begin to feel too important, that without you it cannot work, I promise you, nothing less than 10 replacements is waiting for you. Nothing less than 10 replacements is waiting for you. If there is anything I enjoy while watching football, it's people on the bench. <sighs> if somebody just mistakenly falls down and is not able to stand, you will see someone within their midst like this. In his mind, he'll be saying, Coach will call me. Which means somebody is praying for you to misbehave. Misbehave where? Coach will just say, Oh, yeah. Go and warm up. Go and warm up. Father Lord, touch his heart to touch me. Touch his heart to come you. You must call me. You must call me. Why? They are happy that you are misbehaved. If it's somebody that uh, you have been chancing, he has not been shining. Lord, I see enter feed me something I put in leg. <laughs> if, do you know that when a player is misbehaving, someone on the bench is saying, you good for her. you good for her. Coach will call me. you good for her. You don't do they do. Two of us. Where are those footballers that are in this church? Where they? Stand up! <laughs> now through how they talk. The moment you begin to misbehave, please, I beg you, I'm telling you the truth. That's why I guide my work jealously. I, he picked me from the backside of the desert. The moment you begin to misbehave, hear me? Anything you are doing now is a privilege. It's a privilege. Don't think there is no other person that can do it. In fact, you have nothing less than 100 persons that can do more better. God told Bishop David Oedekpo that uh, the day you mess up, I want to let you know I have nothing less than 100 persons that can replace you. If God can tell Papa that, who, who are you? No, tell me who are you? You just feel, you see that like puff off. As if nobody has arrived. You have not started. Anything you are doing, count it a privilege that I am the one chosen for this assignment. Scripture says, blessed is the man whom thou choosest. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causest to approach unto his throne. It's a privilege. Anything you are doing for God in his house is a privilege. And that's why when you mess up, nobody will feel your absence. You are gone and you have gone into the thin air. So count it all joy. Do it with gratefulness of heart. That God found me worthy. I may not be the best, but I'm available. Let that be ringing in your heart. I may not be the best, but I'm available. I'm available. I'm available. We are the ones that are making things to work in that unit. If we leave that unit now, things will just scatter. Please leave. Leave. You will, you will discover that people with more better skill will take your place. 
We are the ones making things happen in this choir. You see this choir? If we live now, even the Kinesian cannot do anything. Check out. You will discover that people who can sing better than you are sitting inside this congregation. Oh, you don't know before? Some of them are hiding, you know? My prayer is that angels will koboko them and bring them out. But that's the truth. That's the truth. People who can sing, they are just watching you. The day your anointing comes upon you and you begin to do like a kokori, <laughs> you just discover that angels will just move you out and bring them in. Please, whatever you are doing, Let me say this before I move to the next one. A young man looked at one of God's servants and began to wash him. Tear him down. Look at that. Look at the Do you know what? Angels made sure he lost his place. God removed his grace and emptied him. You know what he is now? A salesman. He looked at another servant of God. to wash him. Was blasting him. Well, anything you are doing, God, they see you. Continue. He doesn't know what he's doing at all. He's just messing up. And before you know what's happening... He lost his church. Anything you are doing, as they call you, they are rupee. Do it with all your heart. You are associate pastor. Do it with all your heart. Just be doing. God is recording. Are you wrong saying now? As scripture say, he that is found faithful in little, he say much shall be do what? Added to him. He that is found faithful in little. And lastly, not praising God keeps us on the same spot. Say, God forbid. You are not rising. You are not appreciating. You are not increasing. You are just where you are. Not appreciating God keeps you on the same spot. When you thank God for where you are, what is doing where you are, you are qualified for the next place. In your career, you can be on the same spot. Because you feel that you are the best. There is no one like you. You are now the next Nebuchadnezzar. This great empire which my hand has built. God said, which empire? And I like what God, one of God's servants said. He said, the hand you cannot lift up to God, you will use it to crawl. This great empire which my hand has built. Sisters, you are believing God to marry? Thank God you are even qualified to marry. Are you wrong saying now? What did I say? Don't say or let it never cross your mind that if they think of marriage it's people like us, they will bypass people like you. Now we find past now. Now we get the shape. Can't you see us? Which shape? No wonder they are looking for the ones that doesn't have the shape. Because you that is claiming that you have shape, <laughs> you can come and uh, unshape things around their life. <laughs> Just thank God, though. Are you what I'm saying now? Just thank God. I remember something that happened in 2005. One young man came all the way. I don't know whether it was Abuja or. But it's this Aziz. He came all the way to Asaba. He found a sister. He's a Mopo officer. 
Very tall. He's as tall as a uh, Brother James. Where is that Brother James? He has run away. Okay. Very tall brother. He now came to Asaba Church. He married one fat sister. If you see the sister, <laughs> my God. <laughs> so on the day of their marriage, people we are laughing. They laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. So my pastor, Pastor Chuka, said, Is this this one that you like? He said, Yes, sir. He said, This is what I've been praying for. He said, This is what I've been praying for. He said, How? You see, because. He said, no, it's not because he's a very big and fat. Oh. There is something in her that I've been looking for. He said, my pastor have told me, my father have told me that uh, if I see that thing, I should look for it and get it. And she has it and I have come to collect it. May you have what they are looking for. Somebody are saying, Amen. <laughs> Please appreciate God. I tell you the truth. Don't remain on the same spot. Oh. You are not growing. You are not growing. If what you were last year is still what you are today, this year, you have failed. You have failed God. You have failed your family. You have failed your generation. Be grateful. Gratitude moves us forward. Out of them shall proceed for thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry, I will multiply them. And they shall not be small. I will also glorify them. So you change levels in glory. You make progress. As praise proceed, you too you proceed. As praise proceed, you too you proceed. That's why I said, it is your lifestyle that defines you. Not your condition, not your circumstance. Never you remain on the same spot. Spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, family-wise, career-wise, don't remain on the same spot. Be grateful. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your goodness, for your favor, for your blessings, for your mercies upon my life. Rise up to your feet. Let me say this before we go on. Anything you complain about grow worse. You complain about anybody, the matter will get worse. It can't change. Anything you complain about gets more complicated. If you are a bad biter, very soon you will be biting people like dog. That's the truth. Before you know what's happening, you have turned to a witch. Wow, wow, wow. Is a backbiter now. <laughs> you will disgrace the devil now. I want you in the next two minutes. Father, I am grateful for all of your goodness, your mercies, your kindness, for my work, for my family, for how far you have helped me, for your kindness upon me. for God, the matter will have been worst. Lift up your voice and appreciate God. Lord, I am grateful. I thank you. I thank you. You have not withdrawn your message from me. You have not withdrawn your hand from me. You have not taken away your favor from me. You have provided my needs. You have supplied all my needs. You have helped me. You have kept my going forward. I return all praise. I return all glory. I return all honor to you. 
I am grateful to you, Lord. My health is working well. I am breathing well. My family is working well. My children, they are doing well. The church is doing well. The business is moving well. Lord, I give you praise. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Jesus, for disappointing the plans of hell, frustrating the token of liars, for making diviners to be mad. Lord, I thank you for causing their enchantment to fail, for causing their sorcery to fail. I give you praise for averting the plans of hell, for causing their programming to scatter. Lord, I give you praise and I give you glory. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. La zone keto. Je kute kute pele pere nusaza. Jaco preketeria. Bresoso krokete. I am grateful. I am grateful. For every honor. For every blessing. I am grateful. I am grateful. For my home I am grateful. For my wife I am grateful. For my children, I am grateful. I thank you for this church. I thank you for Living Faith Church, Lafia. I give you praise for what you are doing. I thank you. I thank you for every one member you are transforming. Thank you for making this place the tabernacle of blessing. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. I thank you for your hand has not been withdrawn. I return praise and glory to you. I am grateful father I am grateful father I am grateful Jesus I am grateful Jesus for every blessing for the air we breathe for sound health for our preservation for all of your intervention for all of your mercy for all of your favors we return the praise and the glory to you Lord in the bush in Jesus name we pray we are going to pray and say father thank you for showing me mercy scripture says of the lost mercy that we are not consumed is compassion faileth not in several times unconsciously we have murmured against God we have murmured against God. We have even abused God. Which kind of frustrated life am I living? It's a pity. You don't know where that life came from. You can choose to take it away. Which kind of frustrated life? I'm tired of this life. You have heard of people say, I'm tired of this life. Lord, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for showing me 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 mercy. Lift up your voice, somebody. Thank you for showing me mercy. Thank you for your mercy. His mercy endured forever. Lord, I thank you for your mercy. I'm not taking you for granted. I thank you for your mercy upon my life. I thank you for your mercy. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As you partake of this communion, I hear God saying, this favor will fade away from your life. Yeah. Whatever made you to be rejected at the place of blessing, by this communion, that arrow of this favor fades away. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name.